Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I finally reached 50 followers, so thank you guys so much. I love you. Today I did this kind of nude sultry look um, with the Dusky Rose Times 9 palette from MAC. I feel like this palette's been around for quite a while and a lot of people have it, so I figured I'd give it some use. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you guys shared this video, I would so greatly appreciate it. Um, seriously, all of your support helps me tremendously, and it means so much to me. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I got this look, please stay tuned. Okay, first I'm gonna mix the NARS Radiance um, Primer. Now, you guys can tell I love this. It is like literally almost empty, um, and I really don't go through primers like that quickly. So I'm gonna mix it with the Stila One Step Color Correcting um, Primer. They're both actually um, moisturizing, but um, I just like the Radiance from the NARS. And I really like the skin correcting part of the Stila. And my skin's really dry lately, so I'm gonna do some weird things today and really like get my face looking moisturized and dewy. So I'm mixing those together on my hands and then I'm just gonna put it all over my face. So that alone has my face looking like a little bit more radiant um, as well as a little more even. Not a lot, but just a little. So um, I'm gonna do my foundation next, and I'm just feeling like mixing things today. So I'm gonna do the, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm gonna mix that with the Lancome Re-Energy Lift makeup. And I'm literally doing that on my hand too. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it kind of evenly throughout my face. Okay, so my skin literally absorbed that um, primer. So I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Essential Oil just to, um, not that I need more priming, but just to kind of give me a little bit more, a um, little bit more moisture so I don't just absorb my foundation. I want to be dewy today. So I'm just blending that out with Morphe Sponge. Now if you use that primer oil and mix it with your foundation, your foundation can go quite a bit further and it can look a little more natural if you want to. I really like that oil. But for days like today when I'm kind of dry, it's really great to just mix it with your makeup products so that you're a little bit more, a little bit more dewy looking. So next I'm going to do my brows and for this video I'm going to go off camera. If you want to see how I do my brows. Um, I'm making a new video on it, so it'll be the video right below this one. So click on that if you want to see how I do my brows. Okay, so that's my brows done. Um, I did also prime my eyes with the um, MAC 24 Hour Smoother Concealer. So I'm just taking a beauty blender and patting that out. Then I'm gonna take the MAC Dusty Rose Times 9 by and I am gonna use this center color here. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like a light, light dusty rose pink. And I'm gonna use the Morphe 441 to blend as per usual. And I'm gonna go into this brown here. It's kind of like a taupey light brown. Tapping off the excess product and then starting in the corner. I'm just dragging it through the crease there. I like using the same brush because I feel like it just helps blend even more if you've still got a little bit of the transition shade on the brush. And I kind of go back and forth between colors to get like a really good blend. So I'm going to go with the darkest brown in the corner here. And I'm going to take the Morphe 321, which is a much smaller brush, and use that dark color. I'm going to only go in like the very, very corner and crease here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take that same 24 hour smoothwear concealer from MAC um, and go under my eyes and just highlight my face. So just 
covers the blemishes and highlights the face. All right, so I'm gonna take the same Morphe blender and blend it out. take the Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. You guys know this is one of the only powders I use and I like, if I'm going to use a powder, I always use this one. <laughs> but as you guys also know, I use multiple products, so, okay. I really haven't baked in a while, but I'm actually going to do that. Kind of. Not super heavy, but I'm going to put this underneath my eyes. Hold them in place here. Okay. So the Laura Mercier I put under my eyes because it doesn't ever darken under my eyes. I feel like a lot of even translucent powders do kind of turn like this yellowy shade and that kind of defeats the purpose of setting powder for me. I hate when my concealer turns dark. Like that's not why I'm wearing concealer. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Pound Cake um, Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. That's the only other powder I really I've liked. These are the only two powders that I use um, that I've actually liked. I can't, I literally can't find other ones that I like. So if you guys have any suggestions of things that you really think I should try that are like the best, let me know. Comment below. Okay, so I'm just gonna set right along where I'm gonna put my bronzer. Do some baking today, why the heck not? It's finally warm out, so if I were gonna get sweaty, it would be today. Just a little bit on the sides of my nose here. And also on my forehead. Not much, but a little bit. So I'm gonna take the MAC Bronzing Powder in Matte Bronze and bronze up my face a little bit. I'm using the Morphe 530 Contour Brush. Now see I'm just drawing the like perfect line there because I do want a little bit of like blend there. I don't want it to be perfect. Alright, so I tell everyone I go in like a three shape here. And I always want my contour coming down from where my hair comes out above my ear there. with everything go pretty light-handedly tap off excess product you don't want to have any like streak marks um the way you get a good blend is by building up color with anything so lightly on the whole face okay then i'm gonna take and go under my jawline and then take a slightly smaller brush this is the jeffree star um small contour brush. I'm gonna go under my lip and on the sides of my nose. Do I look smashed? Okay, now like I ombre everything, I'm gonna go ahead and ombre my cheeks too. So I'm using the Pure Sculptor Palette. This came in a BoxyCharm. Um, it is kind of old, but I really like how dark these brown um, contour shades are. So I'm going to use the lighter one in there, and they smell like chocolate, so I'm really never going to get sick of that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going with the lighter one. I'm using the Luxie 1010 Small Contour Brush. Um, and I'm just gonna go on the kind of the lower portion of my um, contour here. 
so that it has kind of like an ombre. Now that's not blended in yet. I'm gonna go back and blend that in. But I'm also gonna add a little bit of this darker shade just to the outer edges of my whole, my whole contour basically. Okay, so my contour is blended. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is go under my eyes with the same colors I used on the top. So I'm gonna use the, um, I'm actually gonna go with the dark brown, I, don't, I mean the light brown here. I don't feel like I need to go with the dark brown. I'm using the same Morphe 321 brush and I'm just gonna blend that below my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take another blending brush. Um, this one's by the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I think it did come in a boxy charm. It's step one for the money. Um, any brush that's like shaped like this will do. We're just gonna take the pink, rosy pink and blend it out. Okay, now I'm gonna take this shimmery rose here and put it on my lid. Now, this look ended up being a little more dramatic than I intended. Um, I kind of used the same colors the other day. I think maybe I didn't go to the darkest brown and the look actually stayed so like kind of natural and like light. So you can use the same palette to do kind of like a more everyday lighter look, but you can also go pretty dramatic. I love, love the formula on this shimmer. I'm not even using like any kind of like spray or primer to get it to show up and it really just so easily blends on there. Next I'm gonna take the Morphe 506. This is just like a tiny blending brush. I actually really love using it for this purpose. Um, what I'm gonna do is go with the lightest shimmer pink here and go on my inner corner of my eye here and then also below my brow bone. Now you have to be careful with this brush because it is kind of bigger, but the way it blends is like so, so pretty. So I love using it for this purpose. Just kind of buff in any shimmer color like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take and set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. a little bit damp but I do like drench it um so I don't like my makeup moving but I'm going to take the MAC double clean extra dimension skin finish it is this really pretty kind of like neutral gold not too not too yellowy gold and I am using the Jeffree Star Jeffree Star Morphe collab um highlighting brush here Bear Bling. This is literally my favorite shade of lipstick right now. Um, you guys know I love nudes and this is like the perfect nude um, on its own like with a stripped on liner or to put on top of like almost any shade. So I am going to ombre 
my lips just like I ombre the rest of my face. Okay, so lately I have been using the MAC Extended Play Per Me Up Mascara. Next, I'm gonna put on lashes. I'm using the Style Flutter from Vanity Lashes. Okay guys, here is the finished look. With no car, trapped in a room with no walls. I'm going down. All right, I hope you guys love it. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Um, as well as if you want me to do any particular videos in the future, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your support. I feel grateful for you guys, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. So I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So I'm gonna use the Ulta. So I'm in my hair too. Actually, actually, actually. Back y'all up a little bit. See what's going on. No, I'm not a car. Um, a lot of new, new, new. <laughs> this kind of... Eh.